Oh, right. What's up, everybody? We are back with episode 59 of Naruto, which is called the final rounds rush to the battle arena. Yeah, definitely looks like this final round is indeed about to, uh, well, kick off, I guess. But that isn't to say that the last episode that I just came off of watching uh, sure was kind of a terrifying moment leading up to it there, right? The day before still with Gara basically on the brink of killing Rock Lee. And why? Well, just because I guess he kind of enjoyed it or whatever, right? I mean, Gara really delved into his upbringing during the episode. And I will say that you can't help but feel conflicted nonetheless. Because obviously you see him there literally on the brink of trying to bring Rock Lee down or whatever, right? And Rock Lee is not even uh, conscious. Like, he was just sleeping there, I think. But even then, you know, like Gara talked about the fact that um, you know, he himself was kind of used by his village, right? And so when he was born, I think it was straight away that he actually uh, killed his mom or he was responsible for the mom's death. And they also put this like spirit of an old monk uh, like inside of him, right? A sand demon, it's actually, it says here on the uh, on the wiki summary, Shukaku is, is what it was called or whatever. But he was basically created as a weapon for the village, a weapon that became completely unpredictable, uncontrollable, and therefore the village itself became afraid of him. And so even his own dad undertook numerous assassination attempts to actually try and take him out. And Garas therefore lived on the edge of death, on the edge of life, whatever you want to call it, for his entire duration of life, right? And so now he doesn't know any better than to actually just, uh, yeah, be out here killing a bunch of people, going against orders, and being completely... Uh, unpredictable. It's interesting because therefore I do question like he's not really he doesn't really seem to be in on the plan therefore too of uh, the war necessarily. He has no hand in it it seems. It's just his other people from the sand village that want to get this war kicked off. Maybe that also explains why the sound village guy did try and take Gara down because he doesn't feel Gara to be part of that plan right. I think that's exactly what it actually was. And this is why you know, both the Sound Village and the Sand Village doesn't care that the Sound Village guy decided to go, uh, uh, you know, like after Gara or whatever, right? It's it's a it's a very yeah interesting but but conflicting you know relationship that they sure have in that case because Gara still decides to come with him nonetheless. He's still there walking along with the others, but they have no control over him, and he. You know, he just kind of goes, seems to just go his own way, whatever the hell that is. Because he's not, again, he's not choosing to actually kill them either, right? It's interesting because I actually recalled this scene at the very start when they first arrived, um, you know, over at the Lee village. Where, of course, one of the kids, I don't know if it was Konohamaru or, or one of his friends, got threatened, right? He was like held by the neck or something. And I think it was the one other guy from the sand village who did that, right? And then it was Gara that actually put a stop to it. Gara told him to let go or he would kill him. Which, in that case, it's like, okay, maybe there is something deep down in Gara that's like, um, you know, that, that, that will allow himself to, that will allow him to redeem himself at some point. Because he did stand up for the kid there, right? I mean, yes, technically he was also saying, I'll kill you uh, uh, to his brother or whatever, right? Which was him making a threat. But again, I mean, he could have already chosen to have that kid be killed there and why... You know, why did he care? Like, that's the question that I kind of ask myself. It's like, why did he care so much about the kid's life in that particular moment? Maybe there is something there that will allow us to save him at some point. Because I feel like, you know, with, with any character getting this kind of backstory, something that they really couldn't do too much about, it's like, yes, it's still fucked up what they're doing into now, and it doesn't make him any less of a threat, obviously. Like, at this point, if he goes to try and kill Rock Lee, we have to try and put a fucking stop to it, right? But again... You'd hope that there is some saving impossible in the end. But um, maybe that's just, uh, yeah, wishful thinking. Anyway, guys, for now, let's dive into this new episode of Naruto. And of course, if you enjoy my reactions to the show, you will be able to get early access to the next 24 plus episodes straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be, as always, linked on top of the description. So go and check it out. Full length reactions are, of course, going to be up there too. If you want to see me react to the episodes in their entirety, and you can also sign up as a free member and watch at least the next four episodes already right now. But with that being said, let's dive into episode 59. You can tell Naruto feels conflicted too, right? About what just happened, I think. Kind of an hospital. 
He was just out of energy. Massively. Yo, man has formed a personal connection. Wow. I'll take this. What did he deserve that for? <laughs> I'm telling you, he formed a special connection with these people. He calls him Pops. They're not... Like, they're not actually related to him, though, are they? I genuinely wonder now with him calling him Pops. It's like, I mean, that could be a general way of just calling him, right? But it could also actually mean Grandpa. Because I've been wondering all this time, Naruto doesn't have parents, seemingly, right? What happened to him? But he could still have grandparents, right? I mean, is he just all out of family? <laughs> Who the fuck is this dude? Is this Shikamaru's dad? Wait, are these all the parents of uh, that particular group? Yeah, this is the this is the the dog dude, uh, Akamaru's, you know, boss. I, I fucking hell, I keep forgetting his name. His dad, I think, right? And this is the girl. Denton or Temeri? I forget which of the two it was. Here we go. Fascinating. Strong reinforcements. Hey, my man is kind of wearing the Orochimaru band or whatever, though, but I guess it's kind of a common thing. Oh, yeah, I could tell it was his dad. It looks just like him. And hair is un unmistakable. Live it up at a festival? Yeah, screw that. So they're all here to witness? I don't know if that's a good thing, man. Things could get dangerous here. You're about to witness your kid's death. You're in it. You can't believe it. So. <laughs> Yeah, so this is where Naruto is going to start feeling extra lonely again. Realizing that I guess he doesn't really have family, huh? That's messed up, man. Oh god, he's working on his crow again. Oh my god, this shit is creepy. D-Day. I mean, is it also when they're going to have their, like, attack planned, or what? Yeah, that can be a coincidence. You know what that means. Hm. I mean, Naruto is just thinking about the exam. He has no idea that this day might just walk... A different kind of day. Oh god, yo, they are really portraying this right now as like calm before the storm, aren't they? You gotta love it. Neji is ready, man. <laughs> Warm up. <laughs> uh, that always happens when a big day is coming up, dude. I mean, what happens to me, and that's even worse to be fair, if I have something coming up the next day that I'm like nervous about or whatever, right? It's like, I can still fall asleep. Usually I fall asleep too late too, just like Naruto. But you also wake up earlier than you actually should, right? It's like... I set five different alarms, but then it's already in, in my head that like, fuck, I need to make sure that I wake up at the right time, this and that. And then you, your body just tells you to wake up at 5 a.m. already or something, and then you can't fall asleep anymore. Because Naruto was uh, positioned against Neji, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's easy to already forget about what the exact lineup was. 
so many episodes have passed since the announcement, but... Uh, that is one hell of a tough matchup, no doubt. What are they actually carrying in here? That could be fucking... That could be a Trojan horse right there, I don't know. Yeah. You're walking right past the kid that's also going to take part in it. Oh man, they are thinking nothing of Naruto. God, you can tell he's just trying to think positively. Oh yeah. They got that they all got that dead stare, that's why. Oh. Hinata. God. Wow. A lot of memories here. Is that why she is here too? Oh. Yeah, maybe we can get some special intel again. Well, she's not gonna say no, naturally. I was going to say, because he sounds like he's giving up. <laughs> Dude, she is so nice, man. You helped me gain self-confidence. She became somebody else entirely, oh yeah. She never fucking gave up at that point. She turned into Rock Lee for a second. Take the compliment, give her a hug. <laughs> oh man, I just need him to. No, don't talk yourself down now. Oh, fuck, man. A proud failure. Oh, shit. You don't need to be. We're as good as it gets. Hey, he better give her a hug, man, at this point. What else could you do? Somebody giving you this kind of motivational speech? <laughs> I mean, you know, it's a start. It's a start. Acknowledgement. An actual thank you. A smile on his face. Gloomy, hesitant, and weird. <laughs> like you, yeah. He means it. He means it in a nice way, obviously. Again, it's a start. It's a start. You know, I, I want things to be a little bit more specific, but... Yeah, please do cheer me on. Oh, God. Uh, it might have already started without you. Man's about to be kicked out of the competition for not showing up. Disqualified. 
悪い悪い日向遅れちまってまあシノの試合もだいぶ後だし Wow, look at him with his head of hair. Oh, Hino, do you? Oh, I'm going to go. Do you think I'm going to go? 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 Kicking in that original theme again. An ace sword cut where you can get straight to the arena, okay. Yeah, my man is used to the parkour. Running from Ebisu, no doubt. Believe it. <laughs> Those who control the secret path control time. <laughs> uh, that's how I used to think as a kid, man. Secret entrances. Is there something behind it? Oh no! Oh, these assholes! Um, destroy. Destroy the patch again, or what? Okay, man has another one. Fair enough. Oh, we're going through the sewer network? Uh, that might be trouble, though. I don't know who's going to be holed up in here. You know, what if you encounter Orochimaru or something? Uh... Oh, God. Oh, we're making this a theme park ride. Oh, shit! Yeah, that's not... Where I expected to end up. Oh, this is this right where Jiraiya taught us. Well, you're used to this water. Some kind of mistake. Are we any closer though? <laughs> really? He came out through the tree too. It was connected. Yo, somebody is trying to tamper here with this. I don't know what's going on, to be fair. It's like somebody knew that Konohamaru was going to try and lead you to it. Well, they set him up. Well, yeah. But he's going to try and throw you off just like uh, our favorite Toad did. Give him a slap. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, you're gonna enrage him. Nah, look. Yep, exactly. I was gonna say, man is not gonna run. He's just gonna try and throw you off. And now he's coming for you. Welp. Yeah, you better... Uh... Oh, honestly, I mean, this is going to give you the energy boost right here to make it to the battle arena real quick. <laughs> he looked at that red... Uh... Yeah, I see. <laughs> Always the red spot. Always the color red. Oh, no. We're activating them all right now. Sasuke's not here either. He should be at least... Well, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how long these matches are expected to take. <laughs> but I guess he should at least be uh, sitting in the public, right? Oh, yeah, the main one here also has a rope around him. Shadow clone. Yeah, great way to distract them. Exactly. I mean, let's hope you... Oh, fuck. Yeah, you somehow got to find a way to... Not have a single one come after you, though. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. This is bad. 
<laughs> Naruto still has a lot to learn. Uh, this shit is so good, dude. Close the gates! Close the gates! The... I mean, they can all get... Well, the fucked up part about this is that I'm pretty sure Naruto just expanded a bunch of... energy. Just in trying to get here. Which is gonna need it. Show your face to the spectators. They're sitting up high, I think, right? Yeah, they couldn't they couldn't be uh caring about any of these bulls. Wow man. Yep. This is where you uh you're supposed to prove yourself for everybody. The stars. That's what you are right now, Naruto. Better give it your all, man. Alright, guys. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And, of course, you can get early access to the next 24-plus episodes straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Go and check it out. You can also sign up as a free member and watch at least the next two episodes already right now. Sorry, four episodes. So, I'll see you there.